guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, it's going to be a video not about the Camaro. It's right beside me, actually, getting work done. And you guys will see soon, it's just I'm taking my time with that car. I want it to be straight and right. But I just want to show you guys the daily I bought in July. I've been driving it since July, and now it's mid-September, I think. Yeah. And uh, paid 900 bucks for it. It's a 2000 Toyota Camry. Over 300,000 miles. Oh, I'm about to clock 320 on it. And uh, it's showing its age. It's built 20 years ago, so it's the same year I was born. But let me go get the car. Here's the daily driver. Basically the beater. I honestly don't know what the hell on the front end of this car. It, I know I'm not going to put a new bumper on it anytime soon, but I want to know what happened to the hood, man. Because that, that ain't right. But it's sitting on 15-inch alloy rims. I thought they were aftermarket, but I did some research. These are a factory option on, on this car, which is pretty surprising. But it, it looks pretty good so far. And uh, let's do a walk around. Oh shit, my license plate. You can't let you see that. Look at that. Otherwise, the car is pretty in pretty good looking shape i got brand new bf good wrench rock tires on it all four i had to replace uh one rim when i first bought it because i kind of did a stupid and uh yeah i bent that rim and it was hard to find another rim just like that i had to go to the junk car basically order it online and it came off a car that was already wrecked it's not that bad of a shape but yeah, hey, nice rims. And uh, let's get to the nice stuff you guys want to see. What's done to the car? I'll tell you right now, nothing much actually. On to the interior of this surprisingly well-looking car. But uh, yeah, I don't feel like changing the whole interior out, changing just the carpet. Because everything else is fine. The door still needs a little work. But uh, here's the inside. It is very 2000. The way this car was designed. And uh, the AC still works, which I forget I have it sometimes. So I'm used to just having my windows down. There's your instrument cluster right there. And uh, let me just show you guys the actual mileage on this. Mm -mm -mm, let me get the key out. Now, look at that. That's for me driving around. When I first bought it, it was like, I think... 314 so i've put another 2,000 miles on but it cranks up just well there's a radio that was in it i was planning on to put one of these radios in it because it, it's still an ugly radio but it has the funders i just need and yeah sometimes cd doesn't want to come out yes i still listen to cds but uh the steering wheel it's gonna need a new one i know that because it's been hard driven <laughs> now all the speakers still work can't play any music because i might get copyrighted thanks youtube and uh yep pretty nice and clean simple way well, i like it the dome might actually still work wow i didn't even notice that but uh let's go to the motor that's in there not a v8 i might ls swap it soon 2.2 inline four from toyota that's how many miles were on the car when I bought it. And I just changed I changed the oil the same day. But uh it's all stock. I had to beat the cat out because I didn't feel like paying 600 bucks for it. But in North Carolina, if it's 20 years or older, you don't need emissions. But uh new radiator had to go in. I might get a new grill, which I do know I need. But uh battery. Bought 2018. It's still good. And uh, you guys want to hear the inline four? Well, you're about to. But like I said, being a front wheel drive car, I'm not used to it. I'm used to having a rear wheel drive car get out side from under you if you go into a tunnel too fast, which is fun. And yeah, the guy that owned it for me, well, it leaks. I haven't used it really. It's washer fluid, they're not even connected. All the hoses are there. I just haven't put them back on. 
and I don't really use it. So, yeah. So let's crank it up. Let you guys hear it, and uh, then we're gonna do a drive test. It's typical at line four. Sounding exhaust, all stock. It's not street pipe or anything. I am not messing with this car at all. Unless I wanna do an LS swap, which I think I might. But once I get another daily driver. And uh, these cars are usually really noisy. All the, all the fluids are fine and everything. And uh, yeah, that's just a loud valve. Loud, loud, wait for it to warm up. Cause the oxygen sensors eat some time. Oh yeah, it's uh, <laughs> yep, it's all stock. Now I'm not complaining. I, it does the job for me. It gets me around town. It gets me out of the. I'm out in the country, so I need something reliable. But yeah, not too bad at all, actually. The drivability test. Gotta put it in drive. So, it drives pretty well. And now I'm going down towards other parts. But yeah, I'm not gonna drive it on the road while I'm doing this, but it drives really well. There's a brake screw on that front. I can't figure out why, everything's fine. Steering, power steering still works. I could do that easily. All the horses are looking at me funny. And there's go, there goes the dogs. Doggy. But like I said, I like the way the car drives. Stops fine. E brake works. I'm not pulling it because it was a nightmare resetting it. It got stuck. Drivability is really well. Like really well. And like I said, the Camaro's in there. I'm not letting you guys see any of it yet until I finish what I'm doing. But, uh, it runs cool. Like, I like it. I've never actually... Oh. Hold up. <laughs> oh, I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> nice. Okay, cool. So like I said, the car's all nice and I like it. And uh, you don't hear any rattles at all. But uh, yeah, so let me shut the car off and get down to other updates on the channel. This is that car, um, my plans for the channel in 2021. I will have my third gen done. That is the main goal and do some drag racing videos. I'm doing a 6.0 LS swap in it, which it's my first LS. I'm gonna run some hurdles. I've never used fuel injection before. It's gonna be a first for me. Like I said, it's sitting right over there. I am not showing you guys the car yet because like I said, I have some secret plans going on with it. But if you enjoy the video of the Toyota Camry 2000, um, make sure you like, subscribe, share, whatever you guys do. But uh, I just wanna say thank you guys for 800 and 44 subscribers it's been i've had the channel since january of 2019 it's been a full year i'm surprised i made it this far and um i'm not quitting it's just i know i haven't been back on the channel so far i've been working full time and it just i want to have good content for you guys but yeah like i said it's a good first driver's car ac works which i forget i still don't I have, but I forget to use it. Pretty cheap to maintain. Like I said, just if you get one of these cars, make sure the transmission fluid has been changed. Change the filter. Do the oil change. Change the spark plugs. And ignition wires. And that's it. And um, it was, I got the car for 900 bucks. So I, I can't complain. But, yeah. The Camaro video should start pumping out again. Because I've got some footage it's some videos already edited and recorded i just i just haven't been able to post so like i said i'm sorry guys but thanks for watching make sure you subscribe 
like and share. I'll see you guys next time.